Hello. Okay. I want to go over workflows. And if you're a Domapalooza, they explain workflows. Workflows have actually been up for a while, but I first want to give Dan Hendrickson a huge thank you and shout out. I was struggling with workflows because when I was looking at all the material out there, there was a lot of videos on what workflows is and what it can do, but I did not see a lot of stuff on how to do it. And even if there was stuff on how to do it, it was not from the beginning. It was just like, here's one that already exists. I'm like, okay, well, you're already showing me the meal. I need to see how it's made. So I appreciate Dan for giving me his time to help me understand it. And I'm actually going to try to make a course on workflows. But Dan said that there's going to be a new UI coming out in July. So I'm kind of waiting on that one to then do it. But I've been dealing with workflows. I get it better. Let's do a very fast workflow from a blank slate. Okay. All right. So if you don't know what workflows is, workflows allows you to do actions. So not like an ETL to do data stuff like group buys and joins. It's really to enable an action like tag a bunch of data sets for me, get approval of something, send a notification, run a data set. That's what we're going to do. So how we get to workflows, you hit more at the top and you're going to hit workflows and boom, you're right here. We're not going to go over this stuff right now. This is meant to be a very fast version. We're going to go to new workflow, blank workflow. And here I'm going to call this, I don't know, sample workflow. Dan likes to start off his versions with all zeros. I'm cool with starting at one. Okay. I'm going to say save. And we're going to just build the shapes first. Then we'll go put in stuff. So I'm going to hit message start plus little gear. Fine with me. Plus stop sign end. And I'm going to call this end. And that's it. We've only made a shell. We said do something start something sorry go do something stop it we have to now put in things so if i click this first one the green one with the play nothing we don't really need anything in here we just said that's cool with me this is the main one when we hit this plus sign we have different things we have service tasks we have user tasks we have a conditional gateway which means if it's a yes go do this if it's a no go do that thing we have a parallel gateway where they could do the same. We have this timer thing. Now, right right, right away, this, this start time, you might see this message start, this timer start. It's, it's Timer start is really go do it on a schedule. Go do it on a timer thing. Message start is everything else. It doesn't really have to be a message, like go type in something. It could be that if somebody clicks a button, like if you have on App Studio, where you have a button that says go initiate a workflow, that's what could be a message start. It could be if an alert is triggered, go initiate a workflow. Uh, this workflow it could be another workflow go initiate this workflow right so you can kind of chain things together which is really really cool let's go here now here uh, i'm going to call this one update uh, i'll say i'll say run data set cool if i hit explore functions these are all different packages so you could see here we have packages of functions like ai service layer alert stuff whatever app stuff move my face out of the way connector stuff uh there's a data flows that's like etl stuff data sets a bunch of things in here these groups but if i go to i'd like you to go to domo data sets within that package we have these specific functions cool it's like we're going down an aisle of a grocery store here are the sauces i want ketchup that's what we're doing here are my sauces demo data sets ketchup boom Right here, run data set. Fun fact, I looked up why do we call ketchup ketchup. Real quickly, it was during the uh, Dutch West Indies trade. And when uh, the Dutch were importing uh, fish sauce from China, it's pronounced like katsu or something. So they were like ketchup. And then when it came to America, Heinz was like, I don't want to use anchovies. We're going to use tomatoes because it also has a tsunami flavor. Boom, ketchup. Now you know. All right. Uh, but ketchup, A1 sauce, brown sauce, HP sauce, they're all related. Okay. We're going to go to <laughs> run data set. Sorry. I needed to speak my truth. And we're going to say select functions. Okay. So now we're, we have a function run data set. And we have to tell it, well, what, what do you want me to do? So I have one called this. This is my data set name. Now what I wish is, I'm going to copy that. I wish if I go to, we're going to go to mapping and we're going to say custom. Now I have a little bit of an issue with this. If I choose data set, you can see here the filters I only have are these created by an owned by. 
And also the icons on the left are not going to be like the icons we're used to seeing when we pull in data sets. I would hope that Domo will change that. But I'm going to paste in my data set, which is called training dummy data select. Beautiful. And OK. Awesome. Hey, for this stuff, this confused me so much. I was like, what do I do here? Just pick create variable. Boom. We're done. Cool. That's it. What we just said is, hey, when the data set, when this workflow is run, I want you, Domo, to go refresh this data set. Go run that data set. I'm going to say save. We're not done. Let's validate it. I'm going to hit validate right here. So I hit this triple dot, validate. Cool. Right now it's going cool. One issue is just this thing was created. Don't worry about this. We'll, we'll get to this later. Uh, cool. But I think we're good. We're going to say save and deploy. Deploy it. So we just create it, deploy it, make it live. OK, because it's live doesn't mean we actually ran it. I'm going to hit this little green button right here. And we're going to say start. Cool. I think it's actually done already. Success. It instant started. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm going to hit this little back button. There we go. Usage. I'm going to click this three little dots. And I'm going to go to go to instance list. Success. One. Let's see if that actually worked. I'm going to go back here. Boom. It ran a few seconds ago. Huzzah. We did our first workflow. So that's how it works. This is just to give you a very, very, very basic understanding of what workflows is and it's to inspire you to see what you can do. You can do a lot of stuff. One that I, I really want to do, I'm a stickler for tagging. Uh, I want to be able to make a workflow to say, hey, if these data sets have this name in it, go tag them all this way. Cool. Stuff like that. We could do a lot of fun stuff. Okay. That's it. Good luck to you. Let me know if you need any help, but that's an intro to workflow starting from scratch. And now you know about catch up.